Hello everyone, I hope you're well. Now in this clip, Sifu Suki Wan talks about the redirection of force. Now he picks the biggest guy in the class and he gets him to push hard against him. And seemingly, he's just redirecting that force using a spiral shape of his arm. But if you look very, very carefully, what you can see is that he's releasing his shoulder so he's allowing that spiral, not just through the, the comparatively weak lever of his arm, but he's allowing that spiral to go right away through to his spine. So he's not absorbing the force, he's making a, a rotation to allow the force to be redirected. Whilst at the same time, he's making what we guess I would, we would call a rimmy, if you like. He's entering back into the partner's centre. So he's not only redirecting, but he's redirecting the for his own force through to his partner. This is fascinating stuff. I absolutely love this. And uh, I think it's very, very useful in our day-to-day -day Aikido practice. Now, if some of you have a play with this, I'd love to hear your comments. Uh, it'd be interesting to see any observations you've got about this as a principle. And uh, as always, if you found this useful, smash below and thanks for watching. There's pressure on the roll, you've got to have to use the ball to get rid of it. But I want you to get to a position where I want you to train so you take out the bridge on the roll first, okay? Initially, so that obviously we're training, there's no reason why you can't get it if you're training to get 100% of it, okay? So if I grab Kim just to prove the point there, just to show you what I'm what I actually mean there. When we're doing the first part, the tan has to do its job. So if Kieran's got his pressure on me here, then the first thing I'm going to do is that, if I've got a locked shoulder, it's not going to work. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the hand. What's that, what, the, what does that hand do when it opens? Watch that elbow. When I'm open, it's how much power he puts into me. He's got no power there. So if I carry on with that roll, there's not a lot he can do with the power there because what's happened is that initially I opened it, then I went into the womb. Obviously when it's giving me that much pressure, that I'm going to lack that pressure. I could hold that pressure, but for what purpose? I'm just going to lack that position and let him go past. But initially, when he, if he threw that punch and I caught that punch on a tan, what I'm doing before I go into the roll, I've got to take out that. I've got to take out biomechanically that elbow because otherwise I'm not going to be able to deal with the power. So the first one I do is I take out the elbow, there it is, it's out. Then I go into the tan wu. And if he's going that way, he can go that because the bowl you've just determined where I need to move. Can you see? So it doesn't make a difference whether I've got this side, the hand on this side. It doesn't matter how much pressure it's got on me here if I take out the elbow. Yes? So it's identical whether it's this side for a roll, yes, <laughs> okay, or I'm doing it on this side for a roll. Because if I take that wider to really take out the elbow, you have something like this. Yes, if I take it a little bit in there, but what's happening is that that roll is not on the arm, it's on him. So when we roll, I'm looking for you with the roll, your centre, but taking up the elbow in the roll, yes? So what happens, you put the energy, oh, straight away, got the tan, taking that out. It's on him, it's on him. So any energy? On him straight away, okay? So, thank you. So again, when we're doing the roll, you've got to let the tan do the, the opening to take out the other person's bridge, okay? So once you've got the distortion, we carry on, okay? But I suggest when you do it first, do it faster. Let's try and get the shoulders unlocked.